Are you happy now? <laughs> yeah. Come on. Everybody sit a little. Stand on it. Back flips. <laughs> they act like you're riding, and then you got to make the sound. Yeah. No, not, not, not the bedroom yeah. sound, the motorcycle yeah. sound. Yeah. Uh-oh. Yeah, work it. Yeah, you look good on it. She won't ride with you. Okay. Well, then I'll get on the back. She got her own. Sweet. Okay, you ready? I'll make the motor noise. <laughs> You want an orange? Me too. We don't know. We're just hanging out, man. <laughs> Trying on seats. I like the way that folds down. I do too. I had back surgery and this leg don't. Have at it. Let's see how you look with it on. Oh, yeah. That's you. That's definitely you. All right, put your hands up. All right, you make the sound. Rub, 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 rub. Oh, you're. <laughs> Love it. Love the seats. Why do you like Mustang seats so well? It makes my ass happy. Yeah, I mean, you're not a thin girl. No, I've got some hips and I've got a butt. Yeah. And yeah, our Mustang C is the best of the best, obviously, but it helps me ride longer. It helps me ride more miles with comfort and ease. And uh, yeah, supports me all around. It's perfect. A win, 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 win. Is that three wins? That's three wins. A little bit about you. A little bit about where you're from and why are you here? Name's Kurt Berner from Warsaw, Indiana. Got into Mustang when I bought my 14 Street Glide. My parts manager put me into it because I was having troubles with some of the Harley seats. Yeah. Wasn't comfortable with that. And I've been riding Mustang ever since. I got about 85,000 between two motorcycles. Uh, Melissa and I hooked up, uh, I want to say in about 18 and she helped me with a couple things and then I brought Mustang over to Brant's Harley-Davidson where I work now in Wabash and I've been selling Mustang seats and that's how I ended up here. Well, you know, we were visiting <clears throat> the other day about this, the Mustang seat and what it means to us and it's crazy because we talk about fathers passing their seats on down to their children. Okay. And that's pretty amazing. Yeah, it when is. When you got something like that, that quality that lasts, I'm just so proud of Mustang, and I know you are too. It's a very good seat, and it's very comfortable. And there's a brother, like we were talking uh, the other night, there's a brotherhood regardless of what you're doing. It's just a brotherhood with the motorcycles, and it really it's is. nice to meet each other. And that's how, that's the other thing, it's opened some doors. Yeah, I mean, the motorcycle just brings us together, right? Yep. And we need a good seat on there to go the distance. <laughs> oh, absolutely. I've done uh, several long trips. The yeah. longest trip when I first did was to Johnson City. It was 10 and a half hours. And when I got in to Johnson City, it was 97 degrees and I was toast. Hot. But the seat was probably helped the day. Oh, yeah, no doubt. With us running like we do, uh, that seat runs a lot cooler than that. Oh, yeah. Long Absolutely, and I was in full leather and everything yeah. on that trip. I've since then changed a yeah. little bit of how I ride. Well, and that's something a lot of things you go through. You, you change stuff. You try different things. Uh, this is definitely one of the things when you try a Mustang seat, you're done. You yeah. buy it once, Yep. you're done. That's true. It works. Nope, it, it gets you comfortable, and that's one thing you do not have to worry about when you're riding the Mustang that's seat. It. Well, I appreciate you taking the time here, Kurt, and then uh, we'll let you get back to work. That yeah, sounds like a plan. Like my own. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just talking. It's just oh, a mic. A Were you phone? afraid of it? <laughs> You're like, what the hell? Are you? So, it looks like a little bug. So, yeah, it is. <laughs> Dead cat. Um, so. You're, you're just sitting over here on the I'm seat. I'm just chilling because he went to get the motorcycle. Oh. And this looked like the best spot to see. Yeah, it. so are you getting one of these seats? <laughs> we are. We're getting this seat, but with gray lining. Oh, the gray stitching. We are. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you just giving me a hard time earlier. I was not. Imagine I was that. Not. 
<laughs> Where are you from, hon? Um, Valdosta, well, Nashville, Georgia, yep. but you might know Valdosta, Georgia. Yep, yep, there right you on. <laughs> so, y'all ride a Harley Davidson? We do. We and do. then, do you have the stock seat on? We do, and if it stays on another day, he's going to die. <laughs> You're going to kill him. <laughs> I've heard that. <laughs> This is gonna be a really cool moment because it's so dear to my heart, and that is two up riding. And this right here is a two up rider herself. And you guys, I guess we'll just introduce yourself, let us know who you are and where you're from. Yeah, Angela, I'm from Kentucky. Kentucky? Yeah. Oh, this is Arkansas. Yeah, yeah. She knows what's up because she's basically telling her husband, if you don't get that seat off, that rear, you're gonna, I don't know, get a little upset at him. I'm yeah, sure. I'm gonna hurt him. I need something comfortable, and this is the best seat here. What What is happening when you're riding? It's uncomfortable. We go over a bump or anything like that, you're hitting it, and then, I, you know, I have hips and rear, so I, yeah. I, I need something. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's the truth, because like Steph, she's got some love. Yeah. And she was having that support not there, and her hips were pulling apart. Yeah. Well, hell, she, when she got off, she's hurting and all that. Yeah. You guys will get this seat. You'll run 700 miles, and you'll be ready to go to the club strip club, eat a steak dinner, and may go back for a tango. That's how great That's the goal. Are. <laughs> well, we're glad you got that Mustang seat. Yes, thank you so much. Let me try the back. That's the first time I've ever seen a guy. You got to, yeah, because I got to tell her that ass feels good. <laughs> Love it. I think, I, I think, I'll, let, I think I'll let her drive. <laughs> Hey, this was me coming home last night, actually. <laughs> yeah, that feels good. This feels even better. Yeah, snug in. Yeah. I want that. You want the deluxe one, the back rest kit, and you want the arm? Not the arm today. It, okay, because I'll you get you the part number, though. Yeah, okay, give me the part number. And then I can order it. Yeah. So, okay. let's see the seat that he had. Which one did you have? That is this seat right there. Okay, this is a great opportunity to show you guys. So, a little bit about yourself. Let's let's catch up. Okay. Who we're talking to, where you're yeah, from. I'm, I'm Pat from Charleston, South Carolina. Yeah, and yeah. this is your bike here. And you yeah, this in. is my 2003 um, anniversary edition, ultra classic. You had this seat on the bike when you bought it? I did, yeah. The fellow that had it, he got out of biking, and he was about six foot seven. Really nice fellow. Wow. And uh, he didn't have the stock seat to go back on it. Right on. It. This seat here, what was happening? You can see there's a, I call this the pommel. He calls it the nose. Yep. But uh, the distance between the back here and the way that Harley designed this seat is really long. And so, I mean, I'm five foot eleven, but I'm 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 using all of this area and sliding back and forth like a dirt bike, you know, just to keep balance. Or and the other thing is, it it it's a nice seat if you want to uh, have a higher center of gravity over the V twin. So you know, some people like that. But most people on Harley, you want to be low. You're right. a low rider, right? So, so what happened though? They brought out a couple of seats for you to try out. They did, Not yeah. Mustang is really great. I mean, you know, this over here. in addition to the factory video that you put out, I mean, these guys, they've got really great customer service. And, you know, one of the things they do is you may see a seat that you really like, and that might not be the right seat for you. So, I know, right? So they'll, you know, gracefully talk you into Let's see the, the other seat, seat that, that actually that fits. They had over there. Yeah, this is a. This actually comes in two versions, so it, it has a long nose as well. Now this seat fits the bike with a longer nose, right. um, but this seat is kind of what I was looking for—a smooth version, and uh, you know about the same price. Plus, has the backrest, uh, which I'll get. You know, who's going to yeah. go find the backrest? Yeah. You know, comparable seating, but this one actually looks—it's the opposite. This oh. one actually looks better and fits just as well. Well, I yeah. love this seat. And better than Absolutely. This yeah, let's yeah, yeah. see that. I'm going to flip that over. Absolutely. Yeah. I'll hold that like yeah, that. Yeah, that's a nice seat. So, too. guys, just a great opportunity to show you the difference between a stock seat and then a Mustang pan. But you can see how they're all riveted underneath here in this solid made pan, right? All the way through. Uh, you can grab this one right here and, and I can push on it. 
right? I can grab that knot there, and I can just about break it in two. Yeah. If I was to go too much. It just yeah, I can good, feel it. It's a proper, proper ex examination of these seats. But it, it's just cool, though. Like, you got to roll in here, and they, you got to try two different seats. Yeah. I mean, I've been, mind to take I've been trying seats on for the last three hours. It's kind of like a good pair of shoes, you know? You gotta have an expert fit you up and yeah, make it right. That's exactly right. Go get a good pair of shoes. Yep. You want it, you're on them. Yep. So you're spend on a lot these of hours on your bike. Yeah. So another thing we were talking about as well that you watched the video that we turned out of inside the factory there. Yeah, I did. Yeah, and that, we get a lot of comments from that video. Yeah, it was a good video. Yeah. Yeah, was, and, you know, the way that you went through the factory and saw all the different roles and the stages of the processing. If you haven't seen that video, go find that video. Because it gives you an appreciation for what craftsmanship goes into these seats. That, that's and, exactly uh, It's right. a missing art. Unfortunately, we've gone to geometry-based engineering. We've gone to graphics. And uh, there's some things that you just can't do. You need that somebody the back there doing yeah. it by the, with their hands. Man. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate that's it. That's sexy. So what are you going to do with your old seat? They'll mail it back. Well, They'll mail it back, you know, free of charge. So. Yeah, anything that you come down here to get, like we just said, that they'll box it up and mail it back to you. If you're down here and you wanted a seat, you know that's the seat, you don't have to buy it. Let's say, then they will actually ship that to your house as well. You gotta keep on throttling it, because it's not idling. You know, you gotta just, see? Man, that guy can beat the tune. <laughs> 